Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a little bit of a life update. So some of you may have noticed, I know some of you did notice and actually reached out. I have not made a video in about six weeks, which is totally unlike me and the longest that I've ever gone without making a video since I started real estate. So I know a lot of you have, or some of you have reached out um, and asked me if everything was okay. Um, and at that time, no, uh, things were not okay. Uh, they are better now, but at that time, things just were not okay. So un unexpectedly on October 3rd, my water broke, um, but I did not know that my water had broke because I had no contractions. Uh, so I ended up going to triage uh, where they confirmed that yes, my water had broken and I needed to be transferred to a different hospital because at that point I was 35 weeks and six days, five days, sorry, five days. And at that hospital, they did not have a NICU. So they needed to transfer me to a hospital that did have a NICU just in case. So I was transferred by ambulance uh, to Kent General uh, in Dover and I went through 50 hours of labor. So I went through, I think two bags of Pitocin maxed out on both, of, not, not two bags, but like two rounds of Pitocin maxed out on that, uh, still was not progressing and then just like this was getting a fever and I decided and the doctor decided that we would call it and I would do an emergency c-section so I went down to the OR room um my daughter was born this is Nora <laughs> my daughter was born at 10 14 in the morning and they immediately took her to the NICU I was not able to meet her um until after recovery. Recovery was two hours. They did wheel me down to the NICU and I was able to basically just kind of see her from a distance um, for about 15 minutes. And then they wheeled me back up to my room. So I, in my mind, thought that I would just get myself together and then I would go right back down to the NICU. Uh, unfortunately, I could not feel my legs for the rest of the night, so I did not get a chance to get back down to the NICU. The next morning I was getting myself together and I ended up passing out. <laughs> so I did not make it down in the NICU into the, in the morning. Um, and then shortly after the doctor came up and told us that Nora needed to be transferred to Christiana NICU. And when I tell you that if you want a mom, if you want a mom, to get up from a C-section, tell her that your baby is being transferred to a different hospital. And I promise you, you will throw yourself in a wheelchair and get down to the NICU as quickly as possible. Oh, sorry, I thought I, I thought I could get through this without crying. <laughs> um, so Nora was born um, with a blood infection, which then that is the reason why she needed to be transferred to Christiana NICU, where we spent 20 long days. So my husband and I, Mike, uh, would go to the NICU every day for 20 days, um, and it was a long roller coaster of emotions uh, from start to finish, but she did come home on October 25th, and we have been adjusting well. I'm not saying that I've been sleeping very much, but <laughs> she is giving us anywhere from three to four hour stretches, which is nice. And she's starting to wake up, so she starts crying. I apologize. Let's see how long we can get here. Um, so I actually, the day that she came home, was able to negotiate a deal. Um, and I was able to get a buyer under contract and I even was able to, uh, go to a closing four days after I gave birth. Um, and I was able to negotiate during labor. So I have still been working, which I have been so, so grateful for. So grateful for this job and this career because I have been able to be with my daughter throughout this entire, um, situation and, um, experience. Uh, and 
I didn't have to worry about a nine to five, which was really nice. Um, so I really like the flexibility of this position. Um, and also, um, I'm excited for her to come along on this journey. Um, she obviously is on YouTube now, um, on this video and she will be going um, on tours and community tours with us and she will be hanging out with us in videos so if you see her in the background or if you see me pushing a stroller that is why <laughs> um, I just love 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 being around her and I really want I cannot wait to watch her grow and experience all the things um, life has to offer uh, so yes, that is why I have been absent. Um, but I really appreciate some of you reaching out and asking me if everything was okay. And I apologize if I was a little distant or didn't really answer the question. Um, at that time, the, with her being in the NICU, I, I can say that it was probably literally the hardest thing that I've ever gone through in my life. Um, leaving her every night, knowing that we weren't taking her home was very very difficult and towards the end it started to get I would get triggered um by even just like going to a store and seeing other moms with their babies uh that's like where I was at at that point mentally um but now I have you know I am seeking um help I am speaking to a therapist that's like really really helping um and just processing what has actually happened this past month um, but yes, so I appreciate, uh, the thoughts and prayers that came, um, when you, some of you reached out and I appreciate you guys being patient with me. I know a lot has happened in the real estate market since <laughs> giving birth. Um, I know interest rates went up and then they're coming a little down a little bit. Um, I know that there's kind of been like more of a deep freeze going on. So I cannot wait to get back to creating videos. Um, my next video is probably going to be the market report for October. Oh. Yeah, for October, I'm so sorry, of September and October, uh, just because I did miss both of those. And then we'll get back on track and I'll be uh, giving you an update on the mortgage world and um, things that are happening in Delaware. There are a lot of cool things happening in Delaware uh, for Christmas time and Thanksgiving, and I can't wait to share all that with you. So thanks for sticking around with me. Thanks for hanging here. Um, and yes, there'll be more Nora. <laughs> um, coming soon. Oh, I do want to show you, um, hopefully I don't wake her up. I do want to show you her onesie that we, that someone got for us. We just have to unswaddle her. <laughs> Let's see if I can. She's like really passed out. It says, looking for a new crib, real estate agent in training. <laughs> I know you can't really see that, but um, we have a few outfits like that for her to wear. Right now, she only fits a newborn, so she was a little tiny, a little tiny. So, uh, but yeah, we have more outfits coming, and I can't wait to dress her up. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, just, I hope it gives you shed some light into where I've been, um, and where we're going. I'm very excited. And yeah, I will see you on the next video, which is going to be a market report. So I'll give you an update on Delaware's real estate market. So say bye, Nora. Bye.